How does one store a hat at home? Okay, very, very simple. There are very, very simple rules. Number one, don't store it flat on its brim. That's going to be one of the very few things that uh, will do a little bit of damage to the shape. Uh, the only time you want to store a flat a hat on its brim is if it's dead flat. Okay, I'm not talking about flattish. If it's supposed to have a curve like this, if it's a snap brim, it should maintain that curve. Okay. The curve is there for a reason. It's called a flange, and it allows the hat to snap up or down, so that you could wear it in the down position or the up position. Um, so basically, even if you're a down guy and you wear it down, you have to have a good up to get a good down, in other words, okay? So the curve is what you're trying to keep and preserve. I always say preserve the curve. The way to do that is essentially Keep your hat upside down, okay? Just store it on its uh, on its crown like this. You can put it on the top of your closet, you know, put two or three like this, that's fine. Um, putting it in a hat box is good. Just make sure that the top of the hat box, the lid is not hitting, you know, that you've got enough depth, okay? Generally, it sits on a little ring. There's a little ring that goes right in here, a cardboard ring that it sits on. If that ring is too big, it's going to elevate the hat too high and it's going to touch the lid of the box. That's no good, okay? Make sure that there's nothing touching the brim, basically. You're better off keeping a hat like this on its crown, no box on the closet, than having it in a box uh, improperly where, where it's being squished and stuff. Basically, when you take it out of the box, it's going to need some reshaping, okay? If you keep your hat just like this, there's no surprises. It just, that's the worst thing is you got to dust it a little bit. That's it. Um, let's talk about dust now. Um, you can put dust covers on here. You can put a plastic bag around it. A thin cellophane bag is fine, something like that. If you go to the hat shop and ask for a Western bag or for a dust cover, we'll probably send you one or two if you need them. Um, I don't think we have tons of them, but you know, we can send you one or two. It's not a big deal. The idea is that the hat is covered, but it's not tied. So you don't want to completely tie up a hat in plastic. That is bad. So in other words, what you do is you put the plastic around the hat, okay, and just keep it loose. Just tuck it inside like that. Don't tie it. So, um, there's got to be some airflow going inside there. If it's completely airtight and sealed in plastic, you're going to get problems. Uh, your leather is going to rot. You're going to get uh, mold, mildew. All sorts of problems can arise. So, again, plastic cover is okay, but uh, don't tie that bag, okay? Keep it a little bit open. Make sure there's some airflow. Okay. Upside down in the closet is great. Stacking hats is not good, okay? If you have to stack a hat, it should be, first of all, stacked upside down, okay? Don't do a stack more than three hats, and in between each stack, there has to be something separating this band. So you need either a foam ring, a cardboard ring, or a plastic cellophane uh, se separating each layer. So in other words, what you do is hat, some cellophane, hat, cellophane, hat. Put the whole stack upside down. That's okay, all right? Hanging it, that's fine. Hanging it is actually a really good way to store your hat. The only downside of hanging it is A, you have to dust it now and then. It's not a horrible thing. You don't get tons of dusting. Um, I don't think there's a huge difference between leaving a hat out and you know leaving a hat in a box. Um, it's got to get dusted no matter what. But yeah, hanging it is okay. Um, you don't need anything special. You could hang it on a nail. You could hang it on a hook. Anything is fine. Even a thumbtack is good, you know, if it's if it's holding. A lot of times a thumb thumbtack is just not big enough, but it does work. Um, hanging your hats are fine. Um, here's the danger. 
when your hat is hung up on a coat rack, a hat rack, a nail, a hook, we tend to grab it in the same place every day to take it down, okay? So if you're gonna grab it here, please be very gentle, be aware that this is a danger point. A lot of people grab their hats too aggressively here in the same place every day to pick it up off the table from you know lunch, to take it off their hat rack, to take it off their head. They squeeze it in the same place and they wind up grinding a hole through here, which is one of the main, maybe two or three reasons why hats die. Generally from either holes here or sweat stains. Those are pretty much you know the main reasons why hats go. It's either they get sweated up or they get holes here. So if you are hanging your hat, it's no big deal. Just pick it up by the brim or pick it up super gently by that point. In other words, almost like let the hat just sort of fall into your hand rather than squeezing it and stuff, okay? That's not good. If you're the kind of person who likes a tight pinch and you like that squeeze, look good. Just don't continue doing it over and over. Once you get it the way you like it, just leave it and then protect that edge because I guarantee it will eventually become threadbare and you'll get a hole there. Um, I'm repairing hats, working hats, selling hats, steaming hats for 26 years, and I basically see the reasons why people have to throw their hats out. Now, if you have a little hat hole there from grabbing it, you can hide it by just basically lowering the crown. You just kind of, you lower the crown, okay? And what you do is you hide that hole in here somewhere, okay? You know, obviously you have to change the style. The hat has to get much lower in height, but you know, you can hide that. Um, you could take a little bit of uh, medical tape, uh, adhesive tape, the white stuff, and make a little patch on the inside and then just lower the crown and hide it. So that hole, you know, that was up here is now hidden down in the shadow, so nobody sees it. Um, I don't suggest using anything like hot glue, uh, glue, things like that. Patches can generally, sometimes they look worse, you know, putting a patch there. So what I suggest doing is, um, yeah, basically just Avoid the issue totally. Don't grab it there, okay? Um, patching up Panama hats generally never looks as good as the hole itself. Uh, it's usually worse. So I suggest just leaving it alone or lowering the crown and just hiding, uh, hiding the hole into the shadows here, right there. If you have holes in other places, you can't really do much. If you have a stain over here, you can always make a bigger band and cover up the stain you know, or a hole over here. Um, it, but you can't hide those things everywhere, you know. Um, I've even gone so far sometime as if I have some kind of stain here, is to take the hat, spin it around, pinch this side, okay? Take the bands, switch it around to the other side, and then just reverse the hat. The only thing you have to do in that case is that little bow that's in the inside, you have to cut off the bow and put it into the other side. Um, yeah, hanging your hats on a nail is fine. There's really no reason why you can't do it. The only hats you don't really want to hang up are hats that are really soft and elastic, like the um, the Tessie Flexible. The Flexible is a hat that's stretchy and flexible. It's almost like elastic. So it's like a sweater. When you hang it, it does something like this, you know? Those hats are not great to, you know, if it's a stretchy kind of a, a summer, um, crushable hat, those are going to be better upside down or in the box, not hung up. I don't suggest hanging those hats. But most hats, yeah, stick it up on a nail, a hook, anything is fine. You could get some hooks anywhere, you know, you could get them in the hardware store. You could even get decorative hooks online and stuff. A nail is fine. It's really good. There's nothing wrong with a nail as long as you've got a leather sweatband. That's it. Just hang it up on a nail, guys. I don't know. I don't have any problems with it. I've done it for years and years, and uh, I've never had a single issue uh, with that. Um, does it matter where you hang it? You know, do you hang it here? Do you hang it? No, it doesn't matter. The only thing I suggest is just get your hat in shape before you uh, put it to bed. You know, just get everything the way it's supposed to be. Straighten out your brim, okay, and then hang it up.
especially if the hat is wet, you want to get everything nice and symmetrical because it's going to dry the way you leave it. Okay, that's about it. Um, hanging your hats, I think, is actually good. I have no problem with it. Uh, if you have a coat rack, a hat rack, or uh, you know, even just a nail or a thumbtack, it's good. It's way better than this. Okay, is it better than this? Probably not. Most of us just don't have a lot of surface to do this. You know, if you have a top shelf in your closet, you could do something like this. You can um, put some cellophane and then put a second hat inside of it. But remember, you need something as a divider if you're going to stack hats. I don't suggest stack stacking hats at all, but if you're going to put two or three hats in a stack, make sure A, they're upside down, and B, there's something separating them. Either a hat ring or a... Uh, what you can do is make a ring out of a piece of cardboard. You make a belt, okay? Staple it together, and then you've got your little belt that's going to be about this high, okay? And then just put the second hat on top of that. So in other words, nothing is touching this band. The danger of stacking hats is that the top hat squishes this band down, and you got big issues, okay? So... Don't stack them. If you have to, put some cellophane or a ring, a foam ring, a cardboard ring in between them as separators. Um, for me, I like hanging it. I think a coat rack, a hat rack, anything like that is fine. Or you could display them like I have them, like uh, on little nails or hooks or something like that. You're fine.